Okay, we're at the back gate going out to take care of the horses. So the way this latch works, you lift that ring out of the way, open it up, and make sure the dogs don't get out because they're a pain. They will come back in. So what I always do is relatch it before I walk out to the horses. They're ready to be fed. So out to the horses. I always use the pass through. That way I don't have to worry about them getting out. They'll very much greet you. Um, just walk to the barn. And we have to unlock this. Open it up. Now, a good trick is to take the fork, which is always just right here to the side, and we grab a little bit of the hay, and we call this distraction hay. Because as you can see, they'll be in the door in your way. So what I do is I come clear over here, throw some here for Bastion, spread a little bit out for Roddy, and then I can get the rest of the hay. Once in the morning and once in the afternoon, they get a flake. You can tell what a flake is by gently pulling it apart. And that's a flake. All right. And I take the fork. I divide the hay, that one flake into two sections, one here and one here. Spread it out a little bit. That way they can all get to it without fighting. The goat can be a pain. Sometimes she wants to go inside the barn. I just shoo her out using that gently. Then lock it up again, because they will get into there. And Bastion can un undo this latch. Okay, when the water starts getting low, what you want to do is first take this brush and just clean out the bottom a little bit. Okay, and just dump it. Get the algae out of it. All right, pretty good. Okay, to refill the water tank, take the end of the hose, throw it in there. You sometimes have to have it pretty close so there's enough hose there. Then you pull up on this handle, and then there's a timer on here. And what you do is you turn the timer to the right. See the arrow? It tells you which way to turn it to the right. And then I go back to 15. And then what you want to do, tighten that up a little bit. You see it leaks a little bit. So um, anyway, then what you want to do is in about 15 minutes, it'll pretty much fill it. Then just come back out here. And if you remember, it's a good idea to turn it off by pushing it down because Bastion will sometimes mess with it and flood the paddock. If the horses get out into the, into the pasture, don't worry about it, they can't get out. What I do is find out what gate they got out of, usually over in here somewhere, if I can figure it out. But then I just take this gate, open it up, and using one of these ropes, tie it off to the fence so this stays open, and they can get in to get water. And they'll go in there when you uh, go to feed them again because they can't get that much um, grazing out here. So just put hay out and they'll come in and then close the gate. All right, horse poo. Well, you did it with your brother once. We've got the wheelbarrow. It's gonna be over there. So the best time to do horse poo is while the horses are distracted eating. So you come to this gate, you lift this up, pull it. If it doesn't line up, you can lift up on it and stuff. The wheelbarrow's right here. You, this is one of the forks, a manure fork. You bring it in. Then close the gate. And again, if it's low, 
like so. You just lift up on it to click it. Then this is pretty self-explanatory. Okay. All right. I usually start at that end there and then work this way so I don't have to drag a full wheelbarrow. Then when you're done, you always open the gate the direction you want the horses to be. So that's why I open it in. That kind of tells the horses they're supposed to stay in. Bring this out. To dump it, you just tip it and then lift up. It'll fall over and then close the gate. And then I can check it. It'll make sure you get the fork out of here. You don't want them getting hurt by that. Then I go over and usually the tank is uh, full of water and that's when I turn it off. Um, all right, well, that's it. So Kumo can be a jerk sometimes. So she's bothering you and you go to walk and she keeps cutting you off. Just take a stick and lightly tap her nose to keep her away. She's trained. Well, I know you don't like that. That's why it works.